Newark, New Jersey, one of the most populated cities in the Garden State, containing one of the world's largest shipping ports and an airport that ranks amongst the top 50 busiest airports on the planet. Newark was once known as one of the most dangerous cities in America. So how did this industrial city flourish past its troubled history? Hi, I'm Jose, and today we're in the city of Newark and the larger Essex County. On this tour, we'll explore the downtown of Newark to learn about its diversity and fascinating history. And we'll also travel around Essex County to visit one of America's innovative giants who reshaped the world with his inventions. So let's go on tour to the city of Newark and to the county of Essex. Wachung Mountain and the Eagle Rock Reservation, looking out into the towns of West Orange, Montclair, and Verona. On this beautiful day, we begin our journey at the 9-11 Memorial, and we see a crowd gathered around the edge of the park, taking in the grand view of New Jersey and New York City. At the center is a bronze statue of a little girl lost, called Gabriella. She represents the children who lost a family member on this eventful day, an impact that goes further than New York City. As a New Yorker, I always stop to reflect on the event and capture the memories left behind by these memorials. Memories that reshaped America and the visible skyline of the neighboring state. And the Statue of Remembrance and Rebirth points directly to where the tower stood, an image scripted in America's diversified history. Let's hit the road into our next county destination where we see the interstate signs for Newark, New Jersey and Essex County's largest city. Before we make it to Newark, we'll stop in the town of West Orange and visit the laboratory of an American icon and inventor, Thomas Edison. I always find humor in this. A lot of people don't know what this is anymore, so let me dial collect. I have to make a call. And funny enough, Edison played a role in modifying telephone transmitters, which became the standard for over a century. Thomas Edison, the man who holds over a thousand patents for his inventions. Before Silicon Valley became America's technology hub, New Jersey was the place for inventors. Glenmont and West Orange became the home of Edison, not too far from his workplace. The Edison Estate is a beautiful Queen Anne Victorian style home built in the late 1800s. famous Thomas Edison. Edison went on to reshape the world with inventions like the phonograph and incandescent light bulb. Thomas Edison is in the history books as one of the most influential inventors that ever existed. In the larger Essex County, we have Edison's residence and laboratory, turned into a museum to showcase Edison's amazing work. So behind Thomas Edison's home is the graves of Thomas Edison and his wife, Mina Miller. Edison was buried behind his home upon his passing. He died from complications of diabetes in 1931, leaving behind six children who would later go on to have their own legacy throughout New Jersey. But our stop in West Orange is to discover an inventor's workshop, a memento frozen in time. This is Thomas Edison National Historic Park, the preserved laboratory of Thomas Alba Edison. So let me take a second to marvel at this bronze statue of an American legend.
Inside Edison's laboratory, the lights are dimly lit to preserve the artifacts that revolutionized America. And as I walk through the hallways, I see tools and machinery, the likes I've never seen before. Visitors get a glimpse of a giant workshop driven by innovation and the desire to automate everyday life. In this very laboratory, Edison produced the commercial phonograph, a sound reproducing machine that would evolve into a record player. Edison and his team would meet in this room to sketch ideas and piece together the next great invention. And throughout the national park, you'll come across rooms full of curious gadgetry, telling of the constant work Edison and his team would bring to life. On the third floor of the lab, we have the Hall of Fame. Items like the phonograph and countless other groundbreaking inventions are secured behind glass. Like the invention of the first electric typewriter or Edison's famous incandescent light bulbs. But Edison's work with sound became his most defining achievement and this room is an audiophile's dream. Listen to these steps, you can tell the age of the warehouse here. Welcome to Essex County, home of Newark, New Jersey, established in 1666 by Puritans from New Haven. Newark was incorporated into a city in 1836 and became a major industrial hub for the nation's leather work, creating over 100 manufacturers of patent leather. Since its industrial development, Newark saw a boom of a changing population where diversity would reshape the demographics of the city and Essex County became a hotbed for inventors who would go on to change the design of the world. This is Newark and outside is a very eager crowd. So let me speak with the DJ to bring the audience to life. Hey DJ, turn it up. Before we get into the city, I stopped by this festival to enjoy Newark's vibrancy, street vendors, and the continuing story of New Jersey's diversity. Wait, let's get back to the tour. From way above the skyline, we see Military Park, a park created during the colonial period and was originally training grounds for soldiers. These training grounds provided soldiers for the French and Indian War and its biggest battle, the American Revolution, to which it was repurposed into a park after the revolution. And the cornerstone of the park is Wars of America by Goodson Borglum, who went on to sculpt Mount Rushmore. The Wars of America sculpture is a colossal statue containing 40 sculptures of people and two horses, all made of bronze, sitting on top of granite, a towering statue that perfectly blends in with the high rises, but maintains its artistic integrity. Newark is a city undergoing urban transformation, where historic landmarks are coupled with modern development. And speaking about historic, we climb the steps to get a peek of the fifth largest cathedral in North America, the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart, where this couple is engaged in breathtaking photos for their wedding. The cathedral is such an achievement that Pope John Paul II paid a visit in 1995. And across from the cathedral is Branch Brook Park. This park 
made Newark a trendsetter for American recreation. This park was the first county park in America and home to the largest cherry blossom festival in the country, surpassing that of Washington, D.C. Frederick Law Olmsted, who famously designed Central Park, designed Branchbrook Park and sparked the idea of creating county parks within towns. Frederick is also notable for designing the Eagle Rock Reservation at the beginning of our Essex tour. This scene is picturesque as I just take time to reflect by the lake fountain and gaze on the restored Mendelssohn bus. A bus about the famous German composer, won in 1903 by the United Singers of Newark. Branch Brook Park is 360 acres, averaging four miles in length and a quarter mile in width, maintained by volunteers of Essex County's Park Commission. But as our trip continues, we hit the road to Newark's neighborhoods. As we continue exploring New Jersey, we'll come across a lot of its diversity. And this busy and colorful area is called Ironbound, which contains the fourth largest Portuguese community in the country. Newark, New Jersey has seen all kinds of residents call the city home, but not without its fair share of bad PR. After the industrial park, Newark faced large waves of crime. In the 2008 recession only fueled the upswing in violence as the city had to lay off half of its police force. But the city has undergone a renaissance as the crimes that plague its history have seen a decrease not experienced in over 40 years. In this heavily influenced Portuguese and Latin infused neighborhood, you'll find a vibrancy of life and the immigrant statue by Penn Station paying tribute to the Newark immigrants. Standing at 16 feet tall and weighing two tons, the faces of Newark immigrants tell the story of the city. Their hard work laid the foundation of the neighborhood for future generations. Within the center of Newark is City Hall for one more groundbreaking moment in the county's history. Newark has been a ground zero for civil rights and Kenneth Gibson became the first African-American mayor of any Northeast city with a statue taken center stage at City Hall. And as a visitor, I take a moment to honor and photograph myself with the mayor. And right across from Gibson is a commemorative statue of George Floyd, an African-American victim of police brutality. It sparked outrage, protests, and racial tensions across the United States in 2020. America has seen similar events, recalling the time called the long hot summer of 67, a summer of racial division and over 150 riots across many American cities. But the biggest and most violent riots came from Detroit and Newark, which were dubbed the battlegrounds. In this marker on Springfield and 15th Avenue are the names of 26 people killed during the Battle of Newark. The riots in Newark were sparked by an outdated institution that failed its citizens, a corrupted local government, and racial prejudice flooding the streets at a time when Martin Luther King Jr. and countless others were fighting for equality. Newark and Essex County are a fascinating piece of New Jersey where you can explore a captivating history of American inventions see Newark involvement in American manufacturing, and experience the triumphs and tragedies of America's diversity. A city 
that spread the seeds to build the life of the Garden State. The city of Newark, a giant at the edge of northern New Jersey that helped expand America's revolution. Newark is a fascinating collection of many moving pieces, from its manufacturing history to its greenery, diversity, seaport and architecture. Newark is a pioneer in the story of America's development. I'm Jose, and if you've enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share. If you want to know more about the city of Newark, please see the links below. Until next time.